Well, uh, welcome to uh, part two uh, for uh, whatever we're uh, up to. Uh, uh, the sequels here on this 53 HPS we're starting to get, it's like a Rocky movie uh, with all of these uh, sequels that we're doing. Uh, I'm sitting here on hull number two uh, in the interior. Uh, and the object of this uh, video, and this could be a very short segment, uh, is to show you how significantly different this boat is from hull number one. Everything from the wood, hinges, door latches, you name it, uh, is different. That's what Shannon's all about. Uh, no one is ever disappointed. No one need compromise. No one has to accept someone else's taste. Uh, we're not a production boat company uh, loaded with compromise. We build a boat for a specific owner, a long process of interviewing hours, and then set out to do layouts and, and, and wood choices and everything, uh, you name it. So uh, we're going to take a fast walk through this boat so to give you some idea of how different this boat is from hull number one and some idea of what Shannon is all about. This is the forward guest cabin, uh, and as you can see, it's uh, much different uh, than hull number one, especially in terms of the use of uh, wood. Uh, Souders wanted a lot more wood. They wanted a classic feel. We have drawers underneath this double berth. There's an obvious lift-out filler to this bunk. And of course, like all Shannons, the bunk is six foot seven and long and and actually at the top it, it's a uh, king size we have a hanging locker uh, in here and also a vanity uh, outside the head uh, an idea that uh, we've used before uh, and uh, Sada's definitely uh, like that drawers underneath plenty of storage and over here on a starboard side we uh, have some Lockers uh, above for added storage. Another hanging locker right in front of where I'm uh, standing here. Uh, drawers and doors and lockers all over the place. And that's a chain locker door right in front of me. So it's a forward guest cabin with a privacy door right at the opposite end of the boat uh, from the uh, owner's cabin aft. And to port is... The guest head, um, it has a uh, complete shower stall unit. There's a hatch, overhead hatch. Of course, there's naturally, being a Shannon, it has opening ports. And uh, it's uh, a completely private area uh, for guests to use. Right across from the galley, we have this little dinette breakfast nook area which is actually uh, pretty nifty. Uh, on hull number one, there's an over and under cabin here, and uh, this table actually drops down and, uh, and makes a bunk. Uh, not easy to shoot with this uh, little camera, but it's uh, a pretty neat idea. In addition to this table uh, dropping down to make a single berth, uh, a single sea berth, actually. It's a good spot for it. Uh, there's also, and you can see uh, the racks for it right now. Unfortunately, our uh, cushion man hasn't finished yet. Uh, but there are pipe berths. There's a pipe berth uh, that drops right into that rack. We're facing aft right now, and there's a similar set uh, forward uh, that creates a pipe berth so that two people uh, can sleep uh, in this uh, sea cabin. And there's also this blue curtain uh, pulls across to make it completely private. So you not only get two uh, great sea berths, but you also get this nifty uh, breakfast nook. And as I said, uh, hull number three, uh, folks like this idea so much that they're also incorporating it uh, into their design. Just a few steps down from the main salon, uh, is this U-shaped uh, galley that we have. Uh, deep double sinks. Uh, it's right across from that dinette that I just showed you. And uh, lockers and drawers, food storage, 
uh, and of course there's plenty of light because this is right underneath the windshield, so it's uh, almost like being uh, outside. Perhaps the most significant difference between this boat and uh, hull number one is the fact that this boat has top-loading conventional sailboat uh, refrigerator and freezer with a side opening door. Uh, hull number one uh, had an upright uh, refrigerator type of uh, refrigeration unit and freezer unit. Uh, and as we swing around here uh, to aft, we have the microwave oven, and of course there's more lockers, and uh, the owners haven't quite yet moved in. As a matter of fact, they're going to be here in two days, and uh, their stuff is just coming aboard. We have a uh, trash compactor uh, right in front of me here, which is a real nice thing to have on a boat for long uh, voyages. And, of course, there's the propane uh, uh, triple burner stove with, uh, with oven. It's a uh, really nice setup, and uh, it's uh, close to what I used uh, on hull number one, and I sail that boat quite often. Uh, personally, I happen to like the idea of top-loading uh, refrigerators uh, in sailboats. Right across from the galley and only a couple of steps down from the main salon is the day head uh, which uh, has, we can move the camera in here, uh, not only a toilet and a uh, Corian sink but it's also set up uh, as a shower unit, so when folks are just swimming or want to get cleaned off, wash the salt water off, uh, they can do that. It's also a great head uh, to be used uh, when a boat's underway in heavy seas. And of course, uh, there's a uh, opening port and uh, there's a whole setup uh, for hanging up foul weather gear. It's uh, turned out to be uh, a very nice feature. It's down two steps and to starboard is this really neat uh, navigational area and office, swivel chair, uh, drawers, and of course it's uh, 44 inches uh, long by 32 inches wide, so it'll take a big British Admiralty chart. The top uh, swings right open for chart storage, and then outboard is all of the electrical controls, both the AC and uh, the DC, all the switches and breakers and panels and everything that you need to know just at a glance. It's uh, a wonderful, uh, wonderful cabin and a great spot to either navigate or just a great spot to, to be in and using it as an office. And, uh, and of course, there's an opening port uh, right above. Very nice, uh, very nice spot. Right aft and over to port is this uh, incredible owner's cabin. Uh, if you remember on uh, Shannon 53 HPS hull number one, uh, the bunk is facing the other way. Um, and uh, Ann Souter uh, wanted to be facing uh, this way and getting uh, a lot more light, and it turned out to be uh, very nice. What you're looking at. Uh, Back here, uh, this headboard, which uh, took some doing. Uh, we built this at the shop, very custom headboard. She wanted a sunburst uh, theme on a headboard, and uh, we put that together, and that's uh, caning uh, in between the uh, teeth. And uh, right above, we have a curtain uh, for a window that goes uh, right outside, and uh, this bunk is a king size, uh, double by uh, six foot eight uh, long. Forward of this uh, incredible king size bunk, uh, we have storage and lockers, hanging lockers, uh, draw banks, full dresser drawers, and storage. And then further forward, it's a swing in this camera around. Uh, is this a seating area. Uh, it's really a reading area. Anne wanted to have uh, her own little private place that she could read and, uh, 
in peace and quiet. And uh, right above the chair, you're looking at a uh, big flat screen uh, television so that uh, uh, both uh, Anne and Greg can uh, watch TV uh, right in laying in a bunk. It's uh, a spectacular cabin here. And unfortunately, I doubt whether or not this little camera uh, is going to be able to do justice. But hopefully, you'll get some idea uh, of how different and how custom uh, we're able to do these boats uh, to keep people from not having to compromise. Right across from the owner's bunk through the passageway is the owner's head and, uh, and shower. Uh, all a Corian top, big mirrors, uh, two opening ports. Uh, it's a, a very, very big head, and um, it uh, worked out very well. It's a variation on the uh, head that we put on uh, hull number uh, one, which uh, worked out uh, very nicely. Just forward of the sinks and the toilet is this uh, huge uh, stall shower that uh, not only accommodates uh, taking a shower, uh, but right behind that panel uh, that we're looking at right now is a uh, washer and dryer unit. Uh, it's uh, turned out to be also a very, very effectual use of space, and you also ended up with a uh, very large uh, stall shower unit that not only has an opening port, but it is also uh, vented overboard. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice layout. This is the inside helm station over to starboard. Uh, all the gauges, instruments, uh, shift controls, radios, everything, uh, everything you need to uh, operate this boat from the inside. It uh, worked out very well. On the opposite side uh, is the chart table, and below that is uh, storage, uh, is inside storage, as well as chart storage below. And over here, of course, this being in America, we have, uh, you lift up the chart table and you have a huge flat screen TV. Uh, pretty neat for watching movies. Well, as the rabbit said, uh, that's all, folks. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we've been able to give you a, a fast view of how different uh, this boat is uh, from hull number one. It's not only the wood, but the latches and the design, interior layouts. Uh, it's what Shannon's all about, and it's what I love to do. It's uh, what makes my day that I'm not building the same boat over and over again. Uh, and I hope you've gotten some, some idea uh, uh, with this uh, little video operation of ours the, of what we're uh, doing here at Shannon. It's custom, folks. It's uh, really custom. Uh, thanks for taking the time, and uh, hopefully there won't be uh, any more sequels to this. Uh, maybe there will. I don't know. Uh, Bill Ramos is in charge of sequels, not me. Thanks for watching.